black-capped chickadees are very social birds. They are very curious and enjoy investigating people, objects, and even other birds. They are considered very brave and are not at all afraid of humans. Communication is a very important part of their social behavior. Most birds in general sing in order to attract mates, communicate territory, and communicate danger. Most birds have a variety of vocalizations, ranging between 15 and 14 songs, but can have up to hundreds of songs. No two birds have the same song because there are subtle changes in pitch and timing that allow recognition between individuals. Black hat chickadees have their signature call, which is chickadee dee dee which is how they get their name. Their calls are considered very complex and language-like. Usually, only the males sing, which is very common within birds in general, but females can actually sing occasionally. Black-capped chickadees have alarm calls in which they have more Ds in the call, and this allows them to indicate there's a high threat present. When they make this call, the other birds in the flock freeze until they hear a new call that indicates the coast is clear. They also have the capacity to make a gargling call, which signifies dominance. Additionally, they can also use body language to communicate, especially to convey aggression. Black-capped chickadees are flocking birds. And flocking is very common in birds in general, and it enables them to reduce predation, enables cooperative foraging. Flocking is promoted by unstable food sources in indefensible areas, such as the conditions in winter. Flocking improves foraging because the birds can share food in which, when they're found in high densities. The birds spend less energy looking for predators, which enables them to spend more energy looking for food. When flocking, predators are confused because they are unable to focus on one bird when there are so many flying around. Additionally, it is easy to detect predators when there are so many birds flying around, and they can then inform the other birds by using contact calls. Black-capped chickadees primarily flock in winter, and have a tendency to flock with different bird species. When they do flock with different bird species, the black-capped chickadees are considered the nuclear species, which means they comprise the majority and are dominant over the others. The other species they tend to flock with include nuthatches, woodpeckers, kinglets, creepers, and warblers. The act of flocking with different bird species is actually common within birds in general, and it is beneficial because there's less social tension because they are not competing for the same nesting sites, food sources, and breeding rights. Other species join the nuclear species and then automatically become subordinate. However, this is still beneficial because they take advantage of the flock protection and feeding. Subordinate species gain acceptance by resembling the dominant species, which is considered social mimicry. Some black-capped chickadees are considered winter floaters because they do not belong to a single flock over a long period of time. Black-capped chickadees also have the ability to replace old neurons in the brain with new ones, and this allows them to save memory space, which is necessary to keep up with changes in flocks in order to remember different identities and food storage locations. Black-capped chickadees have a hierarchy within their social system. This is actually really common among birds, especially within flocking birds. With black-capped chickadees, the older birds tend to be dominant over the younger birds, and males dominant over females. The dominant birds benefit by receiving the best mates, the best food sources, and the best nesting sites. The dominant birds display aggression by ruffling up their feathers, hopping between two birds, and approaching another bird with an open mouth. They can also demonstrate aggression by making the gargling call that we referred to earlier, and they usually use this whenever a lower ranked bird has come too close to a higher ranked bird. Subordinate birds also display appeasement in order to not upset the dominant birds. They do this by holding their feathers tight to their body, leaning and facing away from the dominant bird. Higher ranked birds are actually known to have higher survival rates than subordinate birds due to better access to resources. Black-capped chickadees form monogamous long-term pair bonds. However, it has not been verified whether or not this is a lifelong pair bond. After flocking all winter, they then split into these monogamous breeding pairs in spring and summer. However, unlike other birds, they do not show major courtship displays. Once their chicks are born, the male and female both work to raise these chicks. And this has been the social behavior of black cat chicks.